uh, you know, definitely keep your kids away from Dilaudid. It's uh, twice as strong as heroin. This is about $10,000. What is it? Dilaudid. Morphine. It's about $10,000. Okay? On the street. On the street. Thank you for recognizing that point. At the drugstore, it's about $5. Okay? Why is it this much? Because of the laws that we have. Okay? Do the laws work? No, there are people who want the lot or Oxycontin or all these other. This is the grand dame of painkillers, okay? It's always going to be there. So, uh, the, the point being is, if even this was legal, then somebody wouldn't have to steal $1,000 worth of your property, your TVs, your thing, to afford $50 of drugs that cost two cents, okay? Now taking that another step, we've got marijuana. Everybody's talking about, oh, you gotta control it, you gotta control it, you gotta, con and I'm wondering what kind of room I'm in. Anybody in this room who has smoked it the last, before 10 years ago, was in the black market. Whether they bought a joint to share with somebody else, they're participating in the, in the purchase and the sale of marijuana in the black market. Have we forgotten the black market? Okay? So, you know, to put down the black market, hey, I'm, I'm speaking up for the black market. Okay? Open competition. Let the black market compete against your desire to undercut the evil, evil black thing. Okay? So, I have a master's in public administration from a <coughs> Jesuit university here in the state of Washington. But before that, I was the largest importer of hashish in this nation. Uh, you think it's funny? It's a lot of work. Okay. I imported 50, over 50 million grams. To put it in perspective, the government says at $20 a gram, that's a billion dollars worth of hashish from Lebanon. Okay? Um, but to put it in perspective, that's only one hour's worth of hashish for the American public. So people say, well, is this designed to fail? Well, if uh, you put some people involved who can lay this out six months and turn a profit, then, you know, you have my emails, you have my cards, get in touch with me. Thank you, John. Thank you. And if you, if you don't, want, don't know what marijuana looks like, uh, I got Oh, purple berry and sour tea. So I got about 57 varieties here if you'd like to. Are you interested? Uh, <laughs> a magnifying glass here so you can see the difference. <laughs>